What's going on you guys? My name is Shiraz Ahmed and in today's video I'm going to be covering one of the most relevant worldwide topics which is the global vaccine race and more specifically how Canada and US have been doing with the rollout so far. So stay tuned. Okay, so safe to assume that no matter where you're currently living, one of the biggest questions that you likely have is probably around the whole COVID vaccine. Which one should you take? How do you know if you're eligible? What are the risks? These are some of the questions that are probably floating around your head right now because it's a floating around in my head as well. Now, I'm not a medical professional, so this is my obligatory disclaimer that you should not be taking this video in any way, shape or form as medical advice. So I'm gonna leave the viability of any of these vaccines really to the medical professionals. If you have questions or concerns about that, I recommend seeking guidance from a physician. What I will do is focus a little bit on the numbers and the statistics from around the world. So let's jump in. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the global numbers. To date, over 1 billion doses of the coronavirus vaccines have been administered around the world, which is absolutely amazing. Over the last 12 months, nearly 230 vaccine candidates have actually entered into the approval pipeline. Currently, 13 vaccines have been approved around the world for use. Five have been approved in Canada, and there are three approved in the United States. Now, leading the world for both doses given per 100 people and as a share of their overall population that is fully vaccinated is actually Israel, uh, and they're leading by an absolute landslide. Israel has administered 10.4 million doses, which translates to the following, 114.9 doses per 100 residents, which is amazing. This means nearly 55% of their entire population has been fully vaccinated, that includes both doses. This is now double the rate that of the United States and nearly 20 times the rate of Canada. So they've done a remarkable job. So here's a list of countries ranked by percentage of their population that is fully vaccinated. In 2020, during the start of the pandemic, many people around the world were criticizing the United States for how it handled the first wave of the virus. However, they have completely changed this tone and are actually ranked fourth in the world now in percentage of their population that's fully vaccinated. The United Kingdom ranks number seven, Denmark is 14th, France is 24th, Poland is 36th, Brazil is 41st, and unfortunately Canada is down in the 53rd spot with countries like Romania, Portugal, Cyprus, Russia, and Colombia. Canada unfortunately has only fully vaccinated about 2.7% of its population. For many Canadians, this has become a major point of criticism on how the rollout has actually been handled by our governing bodies. Now let's zoom in a little bit closer to home and take a deeper dive into how the vaccine rollout has been between the United States and Canada. Now let's start by overlapping a chart of Canada and the United States in terms of total doses given. Here we're looking at cumulative doses per 100 citizens. As you can see, the United States has currently about 69 out of 100 which has been significantly higher than Canada's 32 out of 100. As of April 26th, the United States has administered nearly 226 million doses, which is about six and a half times the entire population of Canada, which is extremely impressive. But we need to put this into perspective. We also need to point out the drastic size difference between the two countries, Canada and the United States. The US has about 10 times the Canadian population. So for a fair comparison, let's actually look at the average daily doses administered per 100 citizens. So when you take a more micro look at doses per 100 citizens, the race is actually a lot closer um, than the more macro view, which obviously looks a little bit more skewed towards the United States. While Canada was late to the vaccination game, slightly due to some supply constraints from some of the pharmaceutical companies, Canada has really picked things up substantially since the beginning of February, as you can see in the chart. In the United States, majority of the citizens have actually received either the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine, both of which are two-dose vaccines. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which is a single dose, took a little bit longer for their approval process to happen and will likely pick up distribution in probably the more rural areas due to its easier storage characteristics. Last, but certainly not least, I think it's important, especially in today's world that was filled with tons of misinformation, to share with you some websites and sources for reliable data that you can actually learn a little bit more about COVID-19 vaccines and any other news pertaining to the pandemic. Most of the data that I shared with you today came from the Financial Times website. To get this site, simply Google Financial Times Vaccine Tracker and a screen that will pop up that looks kind of like this. 
And you can go in and see how various countries around the world have been faring with their vaccine rollouts. Another great site is the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC for short, as it's better known. Simply go to cdc.gov and you'll be able to find more information that you'll then be able to read and decipher. Now in Canada, a great resource is covid19tracker.ca. Here you can find a ton of information pertaining to the specific province that you live in, in addition to nationwide stats. The great thing about these sites is that the data is actually pulled from legitimate sources, including Our World and Data Project at the University of Oxford, and also the World Health Organization and national data sources from other countries. In a world of misinformation with a health concern like this pandemic, the importance of acquiring information from reputable sources is super important. And be careful about what you read from forwards and whatnot as well. So really, that's a high-level overview of the vaccine rollout to date. While some countries have pushed ahead of the pack, namely Israel and the United States, the gap is really starting to narrow. And on a macro level, due to some massive differences in size, the U.S. has actually been outpacing Canada for fully vaccinated citizens. However, when you dig deeper, and even the playing field on a more micro level, on a per 100 citizens basis, Canada has really narrowed that gap uh, and is only marginally trailing the United States, which is a really great sign. I know this has been hard on all of us, but our leaders and medical professionals have really been working tirelessly to help us all. And it's at this time that really, really, we need to double down and be as patient as possible, which I know is sometimes the hardest thing to do. So there is light at the end of the tunnel as this vaccine rollout continues. And really, please, until next time, stay safe out there. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.